Today started off great. I woke up at <laughs> 7 o'clock, laid in bed until 7.45, then got up, got dressed, and went to work. And so I was there from 8 to 11. One of my coworkers told me all about this plan he has for world domination. And another coworker told me about how she used to work on the Amazon store, and one time she got a return of a water bottle where somebody walked in, chugged the rest of the water that he had in the water bottle, and then smacked it down on the counter to return it. Like, I also had a Bible midterm today that I knew about all week, but then forgot about today. And so I feel like I did actually pretty all right on it, but I don't know. I'm hoping <laughs> that I that I do as well as as well as I thought. It's been a pretty interesting day and it's only going to get more interesting from here. As you can probably tell from my attire, something big's about to go down. A bunch of alumni are here for alumni homecoming, which is has been happening this weekend. Uh today was the first day that they were checking in and there've just been so many extra people. Like usually I'll just walk around campus. If I walk through any crowd, 90% of them are people that I've, I swear, I've never seen before in my entire life. 10% are people I recognize. Even less are people that I actually know. But today it's been even worse because there are almost 1,500 extra people here. So, that has been very interesting. But tonight is the 50th year gala, which is exciting. Uh, I think it's gonna be fun. I, I've heard there's gonna, there's gonna be some music, there's gonna be some dramatic performance is what I've heard, which is very interesting. I'm excited, I think it's gonna be great. But first I need to get some room jobs done because they're checking in tonight and it's a little dirty. <laughs> Right, this whole night is already a struggle. So, I just called my mom, right? And she was like, oh, did you get her flowers? And I was like, was I supposed to get her flowers? And now I see everybody else getting flowers, and I'm like, oh my goodness. I was totally supposed to get flowers, and I didn't know that, so I didn't do it. And now I feel bad. Also, I'm sitting in varsity right now, because I was talking to her earlier today, and she was like, Oh yeah, I, I probably can't get dinner just because I have to get ready. And I was like, all right then. I mean, like I tried to invite her to dinner and everything, but it just didn't work out. And so, and then I was gonna pick her up at Bradley. Her, she lives in Bradley. And then she texted me and she was like, oh, um, I'm at the Varsity Terrace actually, so you can um, come, come over there whenever you're ready. I'm inside Varsity right now. There's one exit. I can't go anywhere. I'm I'm here for half an hour, and so and so I have to go go get her. But yeah, this is already already great. The gala was really good. There were a lot of very talented people up there, and I really enjoyed the whole thing. Um, but basically, uh, I went out to meet Rachel, and she had a friend there, which is fine. And then. We went up to the Crown Center. Doors didn't open for another 15 minutes and it was already super packed outside. So, um, but we got seats near the front, which I thought was good. Rachel didn't like it, but I also saw my friend Nate there. And then, um, so basically what happened after that was Rachel talked to her friend and I talked to my friend, we talked to each other a little bit, but basically I just spent the rest of the night with my other friend, which, was not how I imagined this would go, but I don't know. She didn't seem very sad about that. So, I mean, I guess it's fine. But yeah, after that, we came back here and we binged the office till one in the morning. It was great. We finished off season three, so that's fun. Also, I didn't mention this, but I was very proud of that tie knot that I did and the little pocket square. 